Hey everyone, welcome back for those of you that have been here before and if you're new, hi, my name's Kurt, my friends call me Kurtle and today we are at the public fossicking area in Grab and Gullen hoping to find some sapphires. I've never been here before so this is going to be new to me. I'm just going to dig some stuff, sieve it out and see how we go. I can see where a few other people have been digging before so we might just pick a spot, try it out and you never know. So I'm just digging this because there's a flat rock there and when it floods the water's going to come over and there's going to be a low pressure point here and maybe sapphires being dense they fill out. I don't know. So we're just going to have to try a few spots and if we find a good spot we'll keep going. So I've got the two sieves. I've got the bigger one and the little one and you want to put the big one in top and the idea is you get rid of all the big rocks and hopefully you find something in the top one but if not you got the bottom one it's usually where you'll find your sapphires oh it's going to be cold it's not as cold oh it is cold <laughs> i was gonna say it's not as cold as i thought it would be but it is still pretty cold Where you want to find one. <laughs> yep. Very unlikely to find one there, but yeah. be very happy if we did. So what you want to do is move all your material to the center, pat it down to the center. Pat it down to the center. Pat it down. And what that's doing is it's putting all the heavy stuff in the middle at the bottom. And that's where your sapphires will be. The second hardest thing, diamonds, naturally, occur naturally occurring mineral to diamonds. And so they're fairly dense. Not as dense as gold. Nowhere near as dense as gold, but still fairly dense. And then when you flip it over. If I've done it right, there should be all the black stuff in the middle. Oh. Plant. Like that. Do that again. You can see you got all your blacks in the middle, all your heavies in the middle. Can't see any sapphires. Maybe that's a tiny fleck there. Yeah. Tiny, tiny piece of brownie yellow. That is it. Pan number two. So there's a lot less heavy material in that one. We might get stuff from a different spot. Pan number three. Not even any black mm. heavy stuff, so I won't be going back there. Pretty much what I'm looking for is I want to find a big concentration of heavy stuff and when I find that I'll stay there because that's where the sapphires are going to be. But you can see in that spot there's nothing black, nothing heavy, so there's just no point going there. What you can see here is the old riverbed where it would have been flying along. I'm not sure if this is where it's going to be. Uh, like now, the old river would have had spots of high flow and low flow and spots where sapphires fall out. So potentially this is a spot where they fill out, potentially not. Again, it's just a matter of doing each sieve, seeing how much heavy stuff is and seeing if it's worth continuing.
you want to get all the dirt off it because a sapphire with a bit, a bit of dirt on it when you're classifying it is more dense, uh, is less dense than a sapphire without dirt on it. So if you want it to sink, you've got to get the dirt off it. There's a bit more dark colour there. There's a little green one right there. Oh, another one, hang on. Two. Very hard to see. How's that? Can you see that? I don't know. Maybe. It's still very small though. We want your daddy. <laughs> we want the daddy sapphire, the one you broke off. Cool. This is another pan from the same spot. Another sieve, sorry. What have we got? Mm. A bit of dark stuff. Nothing too... No, nothing in that one, I think, guys. Might be the one. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Look at that one! Yeah! Let's get that one in the sun. Can you see that? My fingers are numb, I can barely feel it. Ah, yes! Look at that. How good is that? Can you see it? Yeah, I think so. If not, oh, there you go. My phone out. Nice! Bit of blue. Yeah. Save that one for later. What else do we get? You get anything else? Come on. Oh, look at that. It's a classic bit of leverite. Leverite over there. Well, that was it for that one. Alrighty. And... No! Nothing. What? No. Nothing. That there is one that is very dark and opaque. So, not bad. <laughs> I might be crazy, but I'm not coming all this way and not getting in the creek. So, let's have a look. Wish me luck. The reason why I'm going in this spot is because when it floods, the water's going to be coming over that big rock there and so there's going to be a low pressure spot right on the other side so maybe heavy sapphires fell down, I don't know probably not but like I said I couldn't come all this way and not try For those of you in the northern hemisphere that are currently enjoying summer you should know that here in Australia it's winter and by the middle of winter what I actually mean is it's the middle of winter it was minus three overnight here last night, according to the weather app. If that's not quality YouTube content, I don't know what is. You'll never guess what I found down here, guys. What is it? What? Oh. So... My face is so cold. Ah... Uh. I don't know how we're going to go guys, it doesn't look like real heavy stuff, so I might have to find another spot. Down there it's a bit like a V, so I think everything is just going to get washed through. I want to try to, I want to kind of find more of a drop off, so I might check this out and then move on. Oh, I can see my breath. 
<laughs> now just on a small sea. I've never ever found anything in the big sea, so I'm not surprised. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this though. So we'll see what comes off. It's all looking very light though, not a lot of dark material. A lot of dark material, so that's not too bad. And that there, I don't know if you can tell, big piece of corundum. That to the light. Might be a bit of green coming through. That's definitely the biggest sapphire of the day, but it's still not the one we're looking for. Where's your daddy? Or a nice blue one? We might actually do another one here. All right, we're about to go for another flip. See if I can do this one-handed. Don't think we. Oh no, there we go. Little blue sapphire right there. I don't know how well you can see that in the light. Little blue sapphire. How cool is that? Seen we'd be doing better in the water than out of the water, which is a good thing. Means it was worthwhile. Happy days, guys. Happy days. I wasn't really thinking much. I was just digging out from underneath this rock. Fill the sieve. Wow. Just the amount of black spinel that came out of that. Wowee. They're right there. Don't know how well you can see that. Oh, picked up a green sapphire as well. Didn't even know I did. I just put them in my mouth so I don't lose them. A bit crazy, but it works. Oh, yeah. There's one of the sapphires. Another one. So much black, wow. Oh, that's very black. I can't see. Oh, yeah, can okay. a couple of green sapphires. There it is, there it is, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, tweezers. One, the other one's here somewhere. There. And that's all of them there together, guys. See that? A couple of zircons, a couple of blues, a couple of greens, but all pretty opaque, and I don't really think there's a cutter. This is my favorite jar. That one there is probably my biggest, nicest, but some of the others are in better shape for cutting. This one here is really interesting, that orange one there. And another little yellow around here. It's also interesting. But yeah. Those are my favourites. Well, that's another video finished up. We did have the GoPro die in the end there, but hopefully you enjoyed that little wrap up at the end regardless. We found some sapphires, which is cool. I've never been there before, so I think given a bit more time, I could definitely, definitely get on the good stuff. What I really want you to do is, if you've got any questions or you've got any ideas, please leave me a comment because I want to hear them. I want to talk to you guys. And also, if you feel like it, give me a subscription because that helps me out. Look at that booty. Oh, work, work, work. It's so cold in the face. Like my eyeballs hurt. <laughs>